being a heavy hitter standing by. Indeed, it's true, Gino, joined by Cosmo Macero of O'Neill Associates, a man who asked the question. Hey, I love Cindy more than anyone, but at, at what point do we have to hold Cindy personally accountable for this this hellacious winter? Peter Cat is in the Boston Phoenix. A JP resident who, although he'll miss the high-low, is eagerly anticipating a Whole Foods moving into the neighborhood. I certainly am. <laughs> Before we get to that, gentlemen, let's start with Obamacare, because we find out yesterday a judge down in Florida, Judge Vinson, says unconstitutional, violates the Commerce Clause, and I'm not just talking about a part of it. The whole thing is so interconnected, we got to scrap the whole thing. Cosmo, you make of this. Well, uh, the judge is really the ma a master of the metaphor, because he essentially compared Obamacare to a cheap watch. He says, if there's one little little spring uh, or, or uh, uh, gear that doesn't work, you got to throw the whole thing out. And he says... Which is true of valuable watches as well, it, it, not just cheap. Indeed. He, he, he particularly said a, a poorly designed watch. Thank you. So I, I translate it into, into cheap. Uh, <laughs> in any case, it's the individual mandate that in, in uh, the eyes of, uh, of a constitutional scholar, this judge, doesn't work. Therefore, you do have to throw the whole thing. I think it's pretty interesting. One of the immediate questions people have, well, what's the impact on Massachusetts? The short answer is nothing. Every state has a, uh, the right and the ability to regulate commerce within its own borders. However, there could be, down the road, a lawsuit here, uh, I imagine. That will be but, a tougher win, I think. But it, would be, it certainly would be a tougher case. As more time goes by, as uh, Massachusetts has sort of uh, incorporated uh, health reform into, 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 into its system, uh, I think it becomes more difficult. But this is a very interesting ruling for sure. I think Obamacare is going to be upheld by the Supreme Court anyway, so I think that point will be moved. I think this actually takes some gas out of the repeal movement because I think people want to see this case play out. And it does seem to be a run. Let's get as much in as we can before we even have to worry about that seems yeah. to be the White House strategy. You know, these decisions leave me scratching my head. I say these because there have been other Republican judges. <laughs> Mainly because the Republican Party is, is so adamant about not appointing activist judges. And I don't see anything that is any more activist than a judge comparing a piece of legislation, which is an apt comparison, by the way, to a watch in, in deciding that the legislation itself is broken. Um, On the other hand, is it activist to say that the, the Congress cannot force a citizen to partake in something, and they can't fine them for not partaking? No, I was merely... Um, commenting on the irony of that. I'll tell you, right from the start, I've been saying that they should, con if people wanted health care reform, they should have called this a tax of some sort. A tax can, is constitutional. Forcing you to buy health insurance, I'm not sure. Um, and, and I think they... they so, we, ta so tax the same people in order to pay for the policies for the uninsured? Yes, in a Social Security sort of but way. Now, I'm that. not saying I like this or I oppose it. I'm just saying that right from the start, even though constitutional scholars said, oh, this provision will fly, once again, I was left scratching my head. It's not a tax. Tax is a constitutional Quickly, forcing someone it's, to buy it's something. All, it's, it? all, it's all about getting healthy people into the pool to bring down costs, and, and it's a, and it's a lot of goal. Cosmo's right. But the, but, but the issue here is, can you force people to do that? Or do you need to expand Medicare or, or, or something? And it's a kind of a Beginning of the end of place. Obamacare or just another step and who knows where this goes? I think it actually probably is the beginning of the end because I think there's a, there's a failed flaw in this and it needs to be resolved somewhat. Obama does pretty well in the courts, in case you haven't noticed. Yeah, Obama no, no, I, I don't know. I, I don't know is my answer to your question. Cosmo just jinxed it. That's all you need to know. Bounces, <laughs> I figure it bounces up to the Supreme Court. And, and then, then they uphold him. I guarantee, I, that's my prediction on this. Anyway, Could Peter, be. let me come to you and we talk Egypt, because you've been following this a lot more than the average bear. Uh, Aside from the minutiae and, you know, who, what sides and factions... Well, first of all, how did this all get started? Let's start there. Well, it actually started in Tunisia. Um, th th there was a fruit peddler who was harassed by police. Um, uh, he got slapped around. He lit himself on fire. Uh, he died. Riots began in Tunisia. Those riots in Tunisia were picked up by Facebook, and protests were called in Egypt. Now, the reason Egypt is such a tinderbox is Egypt is a huge, huge country, and unemployment is rampant. People are unemployed, underemployed. There's a middle class, sort of reminds you of the United States in 10 years from now. But you, it, it was a powder 
kick. There's a lot of dissent. And these are average people. These aren't these aren't political militants in the street. These are family men and family women who are in the street. Optimists are looking at this Cosmo and saying, wow, we may have big change in Egypt and we didn't have to get involved. Others are saying, man, careful what you wish for. The devil you know is sometimes better than the devil you don't, in this case, Mubarak. It's been that way for 30 years, I guess. Um, you, I think you asked me this morning by email, okay, six months, what happens? Is there more stable Egypt or less stable? I think that, and, and I think it's, it's clearly, it appears to be going down the road that there's going to be a transition here. But when you've got a forced transition, I don't see how you can have stability in six months, real stability, or even a year. That's just sort of the, the necessary process that it has to, they have to go through. So I think there'll be a lot of fluctuation in the stability of Egypt uh, over the next six months to a year as they work through this transition. But I think it's coming. Yeah. I think it's the writing is Quickly. on the wall. The army will be the determinant of what happens. There is no middle civil society. The army will settle this. All right, I got 30 seconds left. Obviously, we got 18,000 inches of snow coming again. Cosby, you're both parents. What is the worst part of this storm, and how bad is it going to affect your life? Uh, I'm used to it by now. It's like Groundhog Day. And by, and by the way, I guess we're going to have six more weeks of winter. Uh, it, it's like Groundhog Day. It's like every, it seems like every Wednesday I'm gearing up to shovel 20 inches of snow. By the way, I already feel guilty for blaming Cindy, so I take it all back. You were so pleased. Pleased about your six more weeks of winter line that you repeated its groundhog. Day. There's no place to put the darn snow. Uh, I mean, the harbor would be a nice place to. Well, snow. I, I, I gotta I, get it there. I, I, mean, you know, I, I gotta, I gotta it say it. that I think that makes sense. Also, the kids, my kids are older. They've been doing great, but. Uh, it's one thing to have them home and able to go out, but it's they're, they're getting housebound. So, you know, stay-at-home moms must be ready to pull their hair out. I'm not a big work-at-home guy either, so it's like the whole working from home doesn't work. Honey, take care of the kids. That's nice, Cosmo. No, 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 no. Cosmo Macero of Anita's. You pissed off Cindy and now your wife, Peter Cadges of the Boston Phoenix. Keep digging, Cosmo. <laughs>